So you want to know the best LED indicators for your motorbike. Now we're here in 2023 and it is shocking how many new motorbikes still don't have LED indicators. What is going on? Well, I have tried loads. I tried so many on my old CBR 600 and they kept breaking and they kept falling apart and once or twice I knocked them in the garage and oh, they're just shocking. So I'm going to show you what I got. Um, LED indicators, it must be in the top three questions of any motorcycle group, any motorcycle forum. It's always what tyres should I buy? What exhaust should I have? And what LED indicator should I buy? Always. And it's like uh, the topic that just keeps getting covered and recovered and covered and recovered. So I'm going to show you what I've got. And, you know, maybe they're for you, maybe they're not. Maybe LED indicators are like, what type of cake do you like? Some people like a Victoria sponge cake. Some people like a chocolate fudge cake or a carrot cake. Or if you're me, you like all of the cake. So maybe the indicators are for you, maybe they're not. Let's go find a quiet. Oh, busy in here. Let's find a nice spot over here. All right. Let me show you these indicators <laughs> without wasting your time. All right, so what I've got are BSK indicators and I've had Oxford ones, I've, had, I've tried some of the big brands and this is what these BSK ones look like. I like them for a few reasons. Number one, because they've got a large base, I don't know how well you're going to see that, you don't need to use any spacer plates. So they are just direct fit because they got a big sturdy base like original ones. They're E-marked so you know they're, they're meeting the certain requirements anyway. They're nice and bright and big and they are pretty decent from the different viewing angles. Some of the cheaper LED ones and even I think it was maybe some the RNG make some small little ones that are like little arrow ones and they were so directional but these ones they're, they're good viewing angle and you can get them front and back and they just do such a great job and um one of the best things apart from god this, oh, i really need to give her another clean so you can see again hopefully the camera gets that that no adapter plates needed no spacer plates needed just bang straight in um, and it doesn't need two holes for mounting as well. It's like a lot that it just needs one hole for mounting. These also work on bikes that have got the indicators down in the front fairing as well. Um, like my uh, CBR 600 had, I did try them on the front. I think they didn't ultimately suit the style of the bike on the front. But, you know, you get the idea anyway. Um, they are um, pretty cheap as well. Uh, another good thing. So on amazon you can buy these bsk indicators and they do um, fluctuate in price a little bit the seller seems to sell them anywhere between 20 pound a pair and 15 pound a pair and i always buy the pair of rear ones because the stems are a little bit shorter so they're a little bit shorter in that piece there which keeps them in a bit more compact you can buy them with longer stems if you prefer if you want them out wider um, but you know if they're priced well then you might be getting uh, a set of these indicators for 30 pounds a set uh, or worst case 40 pound a set but for good quality led indicators it's a bargain really um, well happy with them and i haven't had any failures riding in the rain like i say i had them on my cbr 600 as well and they're just faultless once i put these on the back there was no turning back um, for me, I just bought the uh, LED relay, so I unplugged the old relay, plugged that one in. It was just, I don't know, four or five quid or something, and so you don't get the fast flashing or anything like that. 30 or 40 quid, absolutely well spent, and in some ways, on some bikes, it will just transform the look of the bike. And you know why I was reminded of this? Because I sold one of these to someone in the group. The old original Suzuki indicator. There you go. Look at the difference on that. 
You can also get these uh, BSKA indicators with white lenses like these and uh, instead of the smoke lenses. I much prefer the smoke lenses. I think they kind of uh, just blend in a bit. But you can see how old school they look. The LED ones are brighter. They're just better all round and just a lot sleeker. So hopefully that uh, gives you a good idea. That's them without them flashing constantly. Hopefully you can see they just... They look factory and they really suit a lot of the, especially all the uh, Japanese bikes. They are just the absolute ideal shape and size to, to fit a lot of these bikes, especially like the naked bikes and stuff. So hope that helps you.